Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all my January beauty favorites. I feel like it's been a while since I have shared favorite products with you all. Uh, but before we begin, I'd love to welcome everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Hopefully you guys do not hear the music that is blaring outside. I have switched rooms late last year to film in this room because there's someone always playing music outside as soon as I start to film and it is early. I have transferred rooms and this person is still blaring the music. So hopefully we cannot hear it. I am crossing my fingers. Let's start with uh, some skincare. Um, love to just chat with you for a minute about I feel like one of my favorite products of the year. I know we are just still in January here, but I do want to start this video off by talking about the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask. This is meant to smooth and refine the pores. Um, I did film just recently a review on this particular product, so I will link that up above in case you missed it. I do share with you, you know, a little demo and a more in-depth review or chat about the ingredients within that video. For today, I just want to let you know that I am still kind of sneaking this product into my routine. I know that I have a lot of product to test for you all at the start of this year, but I still find myself reaching for this during the last step of my nighttime routine. Just yesterday, I did do a bit of a, a lazy skincare routine by simply cleansing and toning the skin applying a hyaluronic acid based serum and then finishing off with this as I have been drinking loads of tea um, I still kind of drive around with the heater on um, on my way to work not not on my way from work because the sun is still kind of up so my skin is sort of stripped of its moisture probably a little bit dehydrated since I'm drinking loads of tea um, so it does feel a little bit drier at night so I just love going in with this. Um, I do find that this is hydrating, it is balancing, and every time I use this, the following day, I wake up with just the most beautiful glow to the skin. I do actually use this more like a moisturizer rather than think about it as a mask. Um, I do think that this will be replacing one of my favorite hydrators or moisturizers that being the peter thomas roth uh, water drench hyaluronic cloud cream they have very similar consistencies i feel like this is a little bit more emollient a little bit thicker and a little bit goes a very very long way and i love the fact that neither of these break me out or further congest my skin however for hydration, I think that this is a good bet. If you have sensitive skin, a good bet. But for me, I have very conditioned skin. I use loads and loads of acids, and this does have a little bit of a fragrance, so if you are extremely sensitive to fragrance, um, you may not really enjoy this. But if you can tolerate the very light scent that this does have, and I mean it not in a, you know, sensorial way, but more of a, you know, a topical application of fragrance way. I feel like you may still enjoy this if you don't have that incredibly sensitive skin. And I just love the way that this makes my skin feel. It feels like hydrated and plump and juicy. And then it just wakes up looking oh so radiant the next day day. I'd highly recommend this if you're in the market for a new moisturizer slash nighttime mask. Definitely do not use this during the day. I feel like it's just too too much for me. So I've been loving this lately. Highly recommend. I do have a code with pharmacy which is Nadia20. It will save you 20% off the entire pharmacy website it is an affiliate link and i do make a little commission off of the sale so if you need some coins off feel free to use 
the code. Um, next, I do have a, another favorite. This is in, you know, the oil category. And I also did a review on this, which I will link up above in case you missed it. But this is the Drunk Elephant A Glow A Ma Retinol. I don't know why I say Ma Retinol. Ma Retinol retinol oil and as you all know I've kind of been staying away from the oils um, I just haven't gravitated much towards using them but I truly truly enjoyed using this particular oil I found multiple ways of using them and one thing that I do love about the pharmacy range is that they give you tips tricks and smoothie recipes on their IG. My favorite way I would say to use this is during the daytime. I have normal skin and I loved doing this combo here. The Drunk Elephant recipe calls for proteiny and then, you know, your sunscreen during day use, but I skip the moisturizer and then directly apply my SPF after using two drops and one pump of this little guy. During my video, I have no idea what happened and one of the clips just kind of froze. So I'm still trying to fix that, just not to computer savvy or editing savvy, so hopefully I can get that up uh, and fixed within that particular video since it did kind of freeze where I showed this smoothie or this drunk elephant smoothie. Um, but as far as like results that I have gotten, I feel like this definitely hydrated, balanced my skin. It did keep breakouts at bay, I would say, and it wasn't too much for daytime use. Personally, I love, you know, if I am using an oil, I do just love reaching for it during my nighttime routine just because I feel like oils are just too much during the day. However, when I did this combo um, here, it just worked really nicely. Never felt like I had an oil over this skin. And again, I have normal skin. I do work in front of a steamer throughout the entirety of the day, and I do still wear a face mask um, at work. And I still did not feel like I had an oil over the skin. I just noticed my forehead looked a little bit better, and I also noticed, I am paying more attention to this, my upper lip. Um, even as I'm now testing a new retinol product, I've noticed that the lines here are a little bit more diffused. Skin just kind of looks plumper in that area, which, you know, is what vitamin A does to the skin. It kind of thickens up the skin and it just communicates with, communicates with it and tells it to behave as if it were younger. So I do still kind of sneak this in the same way I do the pharmacy face mask. I do still sneak this in whenever I feel like I need an oil. Um, I feel like this season or this winter, this California winter, if you will, has been a little bit drier and a lot cooler at night. So sometimes I do feel like my skin needs that extra, you know, oil. Um, I did, I wanna say touch Based on these during my best of in 2021. These have, you know, been favorites of mine as well. I love doing self-care Sunday with these two products. I do start with the Peter Thomas Roth Micro Dermabrasion Blackhead Eliminator Acne Med. I did do a bit of a vlog with these two, so if you would love to see more of a relaxed a version of myself. I will link the vlog up above in case you missed it and would like to see both of these products in action. I did also do a review on this, so I'm not sure. I need to revisit the bottom bar and give y'all an update. 2021 was a very kind of difficult year for me, I would say, in more of like that mental, emotional kind of aspect. Avoided doing loads of self-care. So that is one of my kind of resis for 2021, more self-care. Um, and I have found that these two just make self-care a little bit more fun. And the results that I get from this mask make it 
so that I actually reach for the product. I do just apply this to the T-zone here. That's where I feel like I get the most congestion and feel the most oily. I have implemented some changes into my life, so I'm definitely paying more attention to my chin and the breakouts that happen along the hormonal meridian. And I feel like this has help to uh, minimize the congestion, keep the breakouts at, at bay, and really just manage the oils that happen here along the T-zone. I do feel like when I do extractions, I don't extract a ton as I did perhaps last year. So I'm really digging that. To replenish the skin with some hydration, I do like to go in and apply this over the skin after using the Microdermabrasion Blackhead Eliminator. I love the color of this. I love the texture. And I actually used this today right before filming because my skin did just feel parched. Again, I've been drinking loads and loads of tea. I think I do tea at right after my lunch and then right before bed. So tea can be a little dehydrating to the skin. So I did go in and apply a wee, like a pretty thick layer of this before masking. So if you're curious, you know, that's what I did. <laughs> um, but I do love using this after this particular mask just because my skin isn't oily. It does have an like an oily t-zone more of like combo dry I would say um, so I just love infusing some hydration to this skin I do find that this is kind of cooling and soothing as well a little bit calming and it just kind of wakes my skin up as well so I've really been enjoying this for the month of December and January now for some body stuff I do have the PCA skin body therapy this is an exfoliate Eating brightening moisturizer for aging skin that perhaps is dealing with some uneven tone. I do like using this more on my lower body as I feel like I go in with scrubs more in my upper body, especially since I do have some KP in the, you know, like my back, the arms and stuff. This contains lactic acid that reduces hyperpigmentation and it exfoliates the skin to diminish sagging and wrinkles. This also has jojoba esters to give the skin some moisture and increase smoothness and elasticity. You also have shea butter here uh, that boosts firmness and removes buildup of cellular toxins for a radiant appearance. And I have noticed that, especially like like on my lower body. I haven't been paying too much attention to it, at least at the beginning of 2021. I kind of was just like going with the flow, you know, very robotic, you know, wake up, work out, go to work, you know, dinner, and then, you know, repeat kind of. So I feel like by doing all of these self-care things, I'm really paying cl more close attention to my body and what it needs. And it definitely needed more exfoliation, um, especially because my skin was just feeling rough and really just holding on to that dead cellular debris. So this has definitely helped to kind of smooth the um, my knees kind of brighten up that skin so I would highly recommend this as well if you're dealing with texture uneven tone um, she is a little pricey so I will say that if you are looking perhaps for a a uh, budget friendly alternative I would recommend the pharmacy one as well I know I do have something by drunk elephant coming in on Monday um, so I'll try that as well and then see which one I enjoy the most but if you're looking for something that's a little bit more budget friendly I would suggest the pharmacy um, honeymoon honeymoon glow body I think that's what it's called I really like that too and that was a favorite of 2021 uh, in one of those months now on to makeup. Um, I, as you know, love my Kosas powder. I love it so much. Um, after I watched a Jamie Page video and I saw how she, well, I ha heard her say that she uses the Kosas, one of the Kosas shades as a bronzer slash contour shade. So I'm like, hmm, I love this powder so, so much that I did the same. So I picked up the shade softly. 
This is what it looks like. Softly is described as a sheer tan. I still love using this with one of my Morphe brushes. Is that what it is? No, this is um, Sigma, the F40. So I love going in and just using this over to kind of contour the cheeks, add some dimension. Love it. Just love this powder so much. Um, on my T-zone, what you see right now and here on the brow bone, you see a, a very well-loved cloud said baked setting powder in the shade comfy comfy is described as a sheer medium and i know this broke but you know it's not technically the packaging i'm after here like yes it's lovely it's beautiful to look at and it broke but i just i'm obsessed with this powder i favorited it last year but i just wanted to chat about the bronzer shade that i picked up and then late last year i also picked up the shade um cushiony which is described as a sheer golden medium brown since comfy is described as a sheer medium so there is a little bit more of like a pinkier hue to this and this is definitely more warm so i fear figured that i would try this out and see how it worked out for me um i when i do pair this powder with the tower 28 tinted sunscreen i feel like it gives me a wee bit more coverage than just the you know sunscreen itself um so if you love that sunscreen but want just a little bit more coverage without using a full coverage powder that combo is a beautiful beautiful bet love love um now to finish off i do want to share um that i have been loving this so this is the summer fridays Le butter bomb in vanilla beige i do have the new the older product and then that is still in use I do have it right next to my bedside um, but I have been loving this my favorite part of course is the applicator like the packaging of course but it's just so good there's a nice little curve to it which really hugs the lips really nicely I'm obsessed with this formula and I love the scent um, and I love the new kind of updated packaging. Definitely continue to purchase this over time. It's one of my favorite glosses. I do use it in the morning, in the evening before bed, whenever I feel like my lips need some hydration or some moisture. And it is what I'm wearing today. Just love sheer lips now. I'm not sure why, but that's what I'm loving. So I'd love to know what you all enjoyed using during the month of January in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So, um,